Now with limited commercial interruption, it's The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, brought to you by the UDF, stealing your hopes and dreams and making them into our own 24-7. I'm your host, Team UDF or Zanos Phoenix. That message brought to you by the Chief of Staff, James, of the UDF. Mm, yes. And today, we go on a magical adventure of doom. Oh, hey, it's this guy. I heard the news link. Yeah, this was the Klingon guy. Whatever, screw it. They're going to both have that voice now. I heard the news link. Zelda's fallen through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The headmaster told me this land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Now you don't have to waste money and buy crap. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's also the weakest of all the shields. Also keep in mind, it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip the shield, hold minus and point at it with the Wii Remote. Do it now, or else you will die. If you're not sure how to use the shield, Nightmare Commander Aegis at the sparring hall will happily teach you. Teach you. Oh, cool! Oh my god, it's so awesome! Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Okay, I don't know how to use a shield. <laughs> Let's jump into the sparring hall, I guess. Ah, oh, so epic! Ah, you! Link, the headmaster told me about Zelda. Poor girl, I'm worried about her. Now, I don't know the details of what's going on here, but that soldier carrying isn't from Skarloff. It's an ancient artifact that only one can be that only can be carried by the chosen one. And since you happen to be the one carrying it, I guess I can figure out a lot of the rest of this crazy story. You know, Link, I just wish there was more I could do for you. But I can offer this as a parting gift. Get ready to learn some new moves. It's time to learn the secrets of defense. First, we should start with the basics. Give your nunchuck a shake to kick your shield out. Okay, that's what it is. To lower your shield, swing your sword with the Wii Remote, or press A to put your shield and sword away entirely. Do it now! Be careful when trying to attack while in defensive. Every time you swing your sword, you move your shield out of the way, lowering your guard. Why don't you try that first? Yom! Ah, oh, so epic. Aha! Now to shield bash! Oh, you must die! Hey! Yeah. Oh, okay. Jump away. <laughs> okay. Cool! Stabby Link. Oh, ready to talk more about the secrets of defense? Uh... Practical stuff. Practical stuff? Okay. If you're ready your shield right before an enemy attacks you, the force from your shield arm will repel the enemy's attack. This technique is called a shield bash, and will make the enemy recoil, giving you an opening in which to attack. This technique is very useful against enemies who throw weapons that you refuse to give you an opening attack or something. I don't know. It's useful. In a real battle, pulling off a defensive shield maneuver requires perfect timing. Believe me, you won't really want to miss. Or read the text correctly. Why don't you do... Oh, defense practice log. Yeah, I just did that. Ah, oh, super wudja! I'm a man. I'm a champion. Oh, no! I'm a champion. Oh, I'm a champion. Oh, no! I'm a champion. Oh, no! Get him, Link. Oh, failed, Link. Oh, okay, stop that. Can I? I'm trying to, trying to see if I can do, uh, do a twofer here. Or does it not work? Oh, I gotta swing it earlier. Yeah, I can do a twofer. Okay. Woja! Cool! That's all I need to know from this old man. Now I'm a champion! I'm gonna shiv everyone! Shiv! Do 
you must dare. Okay, we will come back to the magical Sheikah Stone some other time. For now, we're going to run around crazily and eat stamina fruits. Whoa, man! Hurry, Link, get the stamina fruits before you tire out. Yeah, stamina fruit! Money! Let's go see what they do have at the bazaar anyway. Hopefully they'll have some potions or something. Oh, crap! Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. A column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. Oh, what's that up there? I didn't notice that before. Is that a floating shop? I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with the sword will result in a decrease. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield. Oh, stop it! Go away! Oh, another subject to discuss, Master. Once you are accustomed to the controls, you are free to modify the on screen interface. <gasps> on the gear screen, select interface to change the on screen display to suit your preferences. Oh my god. Bro, what the crap? Whatever, let's just leave it. <laughs> oh, so epic. Oh, crap. <laughs> I missed. Okay, where is the bazaar? I don't know. Oh, wait, I can use my map thing. Yay! Maybe. Take a stone bird statue. Bazaar. Bazaar. Okay. Let's go hopefully find it. <laughs> hey, a bird statue, let's save. Oh, stop it. <sighs> Probably it right here. Is it? Don't know. Let's check inside and find out on the next exciting episode of Digimon Digital Monsters. No. This does not seem to be a bazaar. Oh, so epic. The Hyde doesn't really run while he's inside, but he, like, sprints and destroys people when he's outside. Link is a polite hero in this game. Unlike me. Why well, am I not here to begin with? I'm a villain. <sighs> so where is all this crap? I don't know. Oh, Flid. What was that? What did I say? Item check, girl. What's uh, the actual bazaar? Must be this thing up here. That's not the door. Here's the door. Oh no, we've gone inside. Yay! That only took forever. What is this? What is it? My eyes behold. Oh, young man, what chlamydious visions appear before me? Well, Matthias, visions of him. You may believe, you may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead of you. But I can foresee what that what chicken pot pie will be for you, for I'm a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. How do you no harm? Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. Run, Link! Run away! Holy crap. Run away from this person, too. No, we might need this stuff. There's bombs. <laughs> Very sorry, but I can't tell you unless you have a bomb bag. Crap. Do you sell bomb bags? Yes, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Oh, and in training at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, one look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions to buy the cauldron full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle. Grr. Can't sell mm -hmm. if I don't have an empty bottle. Oh, she's going to give me a spare empty bottle that should be competing in the It's a useful thing to carry around. 
Yum. You got an empty bottle. You're gonna fill it with all sorts of useful things, mm. like drugs and toxic. Wait a minute, if we combine those... Press minus to take a look. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop item items off the item check. Ah, that's, that's what that thing is. Hmm. Holy crap, there's a lot of potions in this game. What are all these potions? Find out next time. No, let's find out right now. That is a guardian potion. This stuff makes you feel invincible. It's a potion that reduces the damage you take for a little bit of time. If you find yourself facing an opponent who's a little out of your league, this is the potion for you. It's 200 rupees! Oh, no! Okay, you don't want it? Uh, okay, that's okay. Alright, let's see what this one does. No, no, potion. No, no, other potion. Potion! Link! 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 Link, you have Zelda. No, Link! Bad Link. Oh, okay. This mysterious elixir is known as the Revitalizing Potion. Simply pour it on a broken shield, and in moments, the shield will be good as new. Wow. This multi-purpose mixture will even restore four hearts. How about some to take on your travels? It's only 30 rupees. Not yet. I want to see if there's any more useful things. Shut up. Okay, the blue potion, I'm guessing. So down near that potion is not quite ready for public consumption yet, but I promise to have it out soon. In the meantime, I'm going to play it. Okay. Not ready yet. What about the red potion? Yeah. That, that's a vat of heart potion. Drink this, dear, and it will replenish eight hearts. Why don't you pick some yourself? Ooh, for 20 rupees. Not bad at all. Not bad. Um. Oh. This wonderful potion completely stops your stamina gauge from being depleted for a little while. However, I haven't quite perfected the formula. Okay. So, the ones that are all bubbly are the ones that aren't done. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I want this potion... Or if I want the red potion. Because I don't know how easily these shields really break. You know, let's go ahead and get a... Let's go ahead and get the revitalizing potion. Since it does re it does uh, restore some health as well. Multi-purpose. Okay. Holy crap, that kid's bottle is floating. This potion fully replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, hmm, you can go see your husband at the counter. He can mix something for you. What do you do? You are a small individual. Oh, hello. Welcome to my humble little side business over here. I uh, infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing, really. It's just something I like to do. Well, ah, uh, do you have any potions you would like me to infuse? Sure. Well, let's take a look at it. How does it work? These are the potions you are currently carrying that I can infuse. It just brings up a blank screen. I don't know what this does, though. What does this do? Ah! Okay. Automatically repairs your shield when broken and restores eight hearts. Ooh, crap, I need stuff for it, though. Okay, I can't do it. Drat. Oh, I am interested. I just can't do it. So this is an interesting place! Interesting stuff. What do you have? Hello, welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff from your pouch into storage? No, I don't. Oh, really? Great. Not like my time is worth anything. Screw you. What do you have? Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. What will it be? What will it be? Upgrade, girl. Let's see what we can you get. <laughs> you got it. These are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now. Empty menu. Oh, no. Actually, upgrade it. What do we get? <laughs> Better. Crap. I need more of this crap, though. I need, I need some amber relics. A strengthened wooden shield with improved durability. Sounds good to me. No, I haven't. I just don't have the crap. So this is interesting. There's stuff over here, too. Who needs a thing to do when you're tired get some sleep? You can sleep anywhere. There's a bed, you know. Skyloft is a different place after the sun goes down. It's no lie. Find a bed and take a nap to sleep. There's all kind of curious things you have to enjoy at night. Like freaking cats that try killing you or whatever the crap. You. So you're on your way to becoming a night now? Congratulations, but I'm sure there's still plenty you don't know. Don't forget to post two if you need a pointer. Just shut up, timer! Mm. 
Okay. Next, a dash of pepper. Delicious, another culinary delight, ready to be savored and enjoyed. She's busy. Okay, so that's the bazaar. It's really bizarre. Oh, oh, you didn't think you were going to escape the video without one bad pun, did you? Can we go back there? Oh, no, we can't, okay. Run up the wall, Link. No, okay. That creepy freaking shopkeeper. Okay, next time, it looks like it's time to go on into Ashley. Let's see if I can buy these Deku nuts. My friend, you don't appear to have a slick. I'm leaving. <laughs> so, next time, it is adventure time, probably. Now I'm gonna explore the town more. Screw the whole thing. Yay! I wanna see if I can get in these flying houses or something. That's the same one, it seems. I will get you, Mr. Flying House. Wait, I can't really get it when it comes by that. No, it's too high. Ah, uh, one way or another, I shall get in there. Okay, so next time we will look over there because I haven't been to that part of town. And until then, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you for more Team UDF gaming, even though this is like Team UDF exploring the freaking town, but you know, whatever. It's a Zelda game. It's a, it's a, it's a, rather, a rather good Zelda game so far. There's just a lot of exploring to do. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. We'll probably do one more episode of just looking around and stuff, and then I promise we'll be going to the Magical Clouds. Where is it? It's over there. Magical Clouds. Magical Hats! Magical Cape! Can I climb these? No. No. No, I guess not. Okay, bye!